All right, guys, it's the Below Average Gamer here. Just going to show off a little bit of my gaming setup. Uh, this is uh, still a work in progress, so just bear with me. Uh, I don't have a CRT TV, but this LED HD TV uh, works great for my purposes. Has multiple S video, uh, composite, as well as AV HDMI ports on it. I have two uh, entertainment towers, as well as the base uh, component down here. And I plan to fill up every one of the shelves. Um, I have this one currently empty. I have a Turbo Duo R coming from Japan. Um, with about 18 games for a very decent price. Um, right here I have my Sega Genesis, Sega CD, Sega 32X all set up. I had the amazing game Aladdin for the Sega Genesis in there right now. If you've never played Aladdin for the Sega Genesis, you're missing out. Uh, it's an amazing uh, platformer. It's an all-around really good game. Below here... I don't know if you can see it very well, but I have my Sega Master System uh, set up here. I got Fantasy Zone in it right now, and the uh, power is not coming on for some reason. But I have a blue LED mod in here. I've changed out the uh, voltage regulator on these 2805. They go out quite often, so I, I went ahead and changed it out. Changed a couple of caps. It, it works great. And below the Master System, I have the Sega Saturn, of course. And then the Sega Dreamcast. And moving on to our center console here. I just got my regular cable box over here. But then I got my Xbox One. It's actually the only current console system that I have here in the living room. Moving on. Just got the Nintendo 64. Uh, I don't have a lot of games for it just yet. I just got Mario. And the game that came with it was Shadow Man. I got the... Uh, the whole 64 set up for about 30 bucks off eBay shipped, so I wasn't complaining about too much about that. Moving down, I have my uh, Super Nintendo. I only have uh, one controller. As you can see at the bottom of the Super Nintendo, it's uh, very yellow. Top of it is in perfect condition. Uh, and I actually have the components, all the materials needed to deoxidize this. I just don't have the gamer bits to take it apart. I'm hoping to pick one up this weekend. Um, I have a couple really good games here that came with the Super Nintendo. I got Super Metroid, Spawn, that's that's not a, a really good game, that's actually horrible. Uh, X-Men, Rise of Apocalypse, this is actually pretty good. And really, really fun uh, multiplayer racing game, you know, racers. If you've never played it, you need to, you need to give that a shot because it's really good. In the system right now, I got Super Mario Brothers, Super, excuse me, Super Mario World. And down below, I just got my uh, NES. It's not currently hooked up. Um, I don't have any games in it right now, but I do have quite a few games for it, as well as uh, Metroid, Legend of Zelda 1 and 2, Dragon Quest, um, or Dragon Warrior here in the U.S. And I've also done the 10 NES uh, mod on this to get rid of the uh, privacy or piracy uh, block on it. So it no longer has the issues where it continues to reset itself. It's really easy mod to do. Uh, a lot of tutorials on YouTube on how to do it. Um, and that's pretty much it for now. Um, pretty soon I hope to update my entire uh, gaming setup here. And when I do, hopefully I'll bring a, a better video for y'all. So you can see the entire setup in all its glory. Um, works great for my purposes. Wife hates it. But um, I'm really starting to enjoy getting into the retro gaming. And if you like this video, um, subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.